This is video number two and what we're going to do this time after we've made our target move round is get it so we can shoot our duck. Now the first thing we want is a message and this message is going to tell this next block of script to run and it's going to be a new message and I'll say duck to live. Okay? It needs to be a sensible message so you know what's happening. So what I'm going to do now is when I receive okay, duck alive and I'm going to say forever again because I want this to keep happening all the time. Now what I'm looking for, if we look at our target, if we just press green for a moment, what we want to happen is if somebody gets the target on the duck and they press click, we want something to happen. So this is our decision. So we drag an if in there. Now there's two things happening here. If you look at the target, we're wanting the target to be on the dock and the click to happen. So we need to use an operator. You can see here, here's our and decision. And so what we want to do now is go to sensing, okay, and I'm going to say touching. Now then, we need to know what it is. So first of all, if we're touching the site, and what was the other one? The other one was if the mouse is down, if somebody's clicked the mouse, we want something to happen, don't we? So let's try a sound. So I'll drag a sound in. At the moment, it's just a meow. If you want a new sound, you go to sounds, you can say choose new sound, and I'll go with animal, and look at that, there's a duck, great. So I'll press OK, and just press play. There's my duck sound, and I'm gonna change that now for duck. So what should happen is, when the space creep press, we broadcast the ducks alive and forever, if somebody touches the site and the mouse is down, then it should play the sound duck. So let's just see. And you can hear that. And that's basically how we get the duck to quack. There's more to learn, but that's how we get stuff happening.